This topic is CT colonoscopy, a new paradigm by a very young emerging radiologist, Dr. Saad Jilani from Ziauddin Hospital. He recently back from Singapore. He finishes his fellowship in body imaging. Dr. Saad. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you all for being here. I am Dr. Mohammad Saad Jilani, working as consultant radiologist in Ziauddin University Hospital. And uh, thank you, my teacher and supervisor, Dr. Anwar, for uh, introducing me. Uh, as we all know that we are living in the era of advanced uh, advancement in which uh, latest innovations are coming every day and uh, these uh, latest innovation which we are experiencing are due to the remarkable achievement of uh, uh, artificial intelligence and the data sciences. So my topic uh, is related to the recent advancement that is city colonography, a new paradigm. So in my uh, short talk, I will be uh, focused on uh, uh, first on the background and the key concept why the screening is important in the colorectal cancer and where the CT colonography is positioned in the screening world. Then I will discuss the CT colonography, its validity, its preparation and procedure and the radiation risk which the question is usually asked with the, this type of examination. And then I will discuss uh, some about the software which we are using for CT colonography and then image interpretation, then finally conclude some extra colonic finding which are the additional benefit in this exam. So the colorectal cancer, this is the third most common cancer and second most frequent cause of cancer death uh, worldwide. Uh, about half, one and a half million people are diagnosed with colorectal cancer every year. The lifetime risk for developing colorectal cancer is 6% while 75% of the cases occur in average risk patient. So the good news is the colorectal cancer is entirely preventable if everyone is screened at appropriate time. So regarding the colonic polyps, these are the precancerous uh, lesions which can transform in uh, the adenomatous polyp in 95% of the cases, they transform into a, a malignant carcinoma. So detection and removal of these polyps will prevent definitely the development of colorectal cancers. Regarding the size and malignancy risk, the small polyp which are less than 5 millimeter has uh, no risk of developing uh, colorectal carcinoma while 5 to 9 millimeter polyps has very low risk of 1 percent. Uh, 10 millimeter polyp which are uh, which have importance and 10 to 20 millimeter polyp have uh, uh, propensity for developing uh, colon carcinoma is 10 percent while the larger polyp of two more than two has sensitivity of uh, of uh, the risk of malignancy is 25 to 40 percent. So it takes about 10, 10 to 15 years about to develop a small polyp and to convert from a small polyp to malignant carcinoma. So here is the key concept where the CT colonography is positioned in the screening ball. Here you can see there is a, a small uh, on the left side you can see there is a small polyp and after the sequential event of pathogenesis this polyp leads to a malignant lesion which we say adenocarcinoma. So it has to progress through a series of uh, sequential event to progress. For in this e uh, sequential event there is a window which is called prevention window of 10 to 15 years and there is a window of cure in which we d detect the polyp uh, and uh, prevent uh, uh, and we prevent the polyp from uh, to its malignant transformation. So where the stool study lies in this uh, uh, scenario, the stool uh, test including FOBT or stool DNA test lies in the window of cure. So they depict the lesion but the downside is they are useless in the initial stage of window of prevention. 
so they cannot detect the polyp if they are very small. As far as the optical colonoscopy is concerned, the optical colonoscopy works in both windows of cure as well as window of prevention. The optical colonoscopy has a benefit for directly polypectomy uh, for histopathology and but the downside is it is really invasive procedure and there are various risks uh, uh, attached with this uh, optical colonoscopy including bowel perforation and there are also sedation related issues if the patient have lung or uh, heart disease. So if we see the CTC, which is CT colonography, it also works in both the windows of cure and the prevention. And the advantage is, is, is a CT technique which is used for the screening. And there also has a less chance of complication or less chance of less risk involved in the procedure. So this is American Cancer, Guide, uh, Cancer Society guideline in which uh, CDC uh, uh, is recommended for the screening of colorectal cancer. Now the colorectal cancer, uh, uh, CT colonography, which is also known as uh, virtual colonoscopy, it is a new generation technique for detection of uh, precancerous polyp or the neoplasm. Uh, as I said, it is a low dose non contrast CT exam that has a specialized protocol. Uh, in the specialized protocol, the, there is a preparation of the uh, patient in which one day before the exam, the patient is given the uh, rectal cleaning, uh, colon cleaning agent to evacuate, completely evacuate the bowel. On, on the day of the exam, the patient comes in the city room and the small bore rectal tube is passed within it and then it is distended with the carbon dioxide. And then uh, the scan was performed in both supine and prone positions and that data, data acquisition was performed with 2 and 3D volume software, image, so, uh, software and then it is uh, uh, readed by the radiologist. So in relation to the indication, it is the uh, uh, screening test for average risk patient, not the high risk patient of more than 50 years of age. and. The, the indication include the surveillance after colonic polypectomy and the surgery. Uh, in case of failed colonoscopy, like very a large obstructing lesion, we can, you cannot see beyond the uh, lesion, uh, it works uh, in that situation. And also contraindication for the conventional colonoscopy in which uh, the patient has some sedation issues or the uh, other condition in which uh, the city colonosco uh, uh, colonosco optical colonoscopy is contraindicated. And there are some other indications with positive stool test, unexplained GI bleeding, and the iron deficiency and MLI. So these are the advantages. It is less invasive and is more safer, and it has a very short procedural time. The overall time the patient comes in the city room, and then it goes out. It takes around 10 minutes. And the process uh, city in supine and the prone position only requires one to two minutes. So there is no need of any sedation, and it is less costly than uh, optical colonoscopy in our setup as well. Uh, and there is an additional benefit of extra colonic finding, which we cannot see in the optical, colonic, op optical colonoscopy exam. And, uh, 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 and there is no large amount of gastrologists required to screen this uh, colorectal cancer. So there are some disadvantages. Uh, this is poly polypectomy is not possible if you are uh, doing the CT colonography and there is very low risk of radiation which I will discuss later and then there is very very less uh, chance of uh, bowel perforation in the literature. Here is the comparison of CTC versus CT colonography. Uh, Kim et al. shows that the CT colonography and the optical colonoscopy had similar detection rate for advanced adenoma and the neoplasia. While the number of polypectomies and the perforation were significantly lower with the CT colonography. So as far as the CT, uh, uh, CTC validation trials, this is the largest national CT colonography trial of America in which uh, 15 institution, uh, the trial was conducted in 15 institutes of United States and uh, there are other trials done in Munich, Germany and the uh, IT IMPACT trial of uh, it Italy. 
These all suggest the, uh, more than 90% sensitivity for CTC for the polyp which has a size of 10 millimeters. Here also various studies suggest in the cancer prevention and the cancer detection while sensitivity of CTC is around 90% for the polyp uh, of size 10 millimeter while a little bit uh, a small 78% comparison to optical uh, colonoscopy of 78% if the polyp size is small. So while the, on the other hand of cancer detection, uh, both CTC is, uh, uh, and optical conoscopy is comparable uh, as it shows the higher rate of detection in uh, case of cancer. So people usually ask about the radiation risk in this procedure. Uh, in among the various trials, the uh, effective dose of this procedure is ranges about four to eight, yeah, four to uh, five to eight millisievert. While using the iterative reconstruction, we can reduce the radiation risk from uh, five millisievert to three millisievert. So it can be comparable with the annual background of uh, which we use, uh, which everybody experienced three millisievert, and the. Uh, effective dose range of 5 to 8 is equivalent to double contrast barium study. So it is less uh, radiation risk as far as the imaging is concerned if we do uh, the CT colonography with the iterative reconstruction. Here is the software and here we can see here on the left side there are various uh, options and here you can see the software uh, separated the small and large bowel and this is the double contrast effect of this software you, we can see here we clearly there are multiple sigmoid uh, diverticula and the interluminal polyp we can easily depict and surgeon usually like this view for the surgical intervention. So the virtual endoscope already placed within the rectal lumen and we can fly through easily but before fly through we usually do the uh, we usually set our system into supine and prone position uh, in order to better depict and not to miss the lesion which is in, which can be hidden inside the fluid as, uh, as we can see here. So there are other options of stool tagging in which uh, the, the, these green areas are stool and uh, may not be missed uh, a small polyp. And then uh, lenses, uh, optical lens is also used in this software in which we can dip, uh, differentiate between the polyp or the small lipoma or the stool. So here you can see the in the posterior wall of uh, rectum there is a small polyp and we can take the also take the measurement easily and then save it into our folder for uh, at the end of interpretation. And here there are different options for fly through including cubical views and panoramic views. Uh, if we, uh, usually we go uh, on one side and then come back and if you are going to through the panoramic view you can uh, do the city colonoscopy, colonoscopy on the single time. So this is the software and this is an another uh, uh, vitria software in which we can see there is a large polyp which uh, we are going inside the rectum on the on the left side, the sagittal coronal and the axial images, you can appreciate on the sagittal there is a large polyp and it is marked by the software on the, with the red color. So this is an another case of 63 year male with the positive uh, uh, stool test and uh, with the arrow you can see there is a small polyp in the proximal uh, transverse colon. On the city colonography, there, there is a small sessile polyp we can appreciate on optical colonoscopy with the same result. This is a sigmoid carcinoma. This is a large annular constricting lesion in the sigmoid colon while CT colonoscopy shows this constricting lesion in a good manner. Regarding the small, the here you can see the prone view and you can see a small bump inside the rectum. On the CT colonography, you can see the small sessile polyp with a small bump and on the city colonoscopy, the, the comparison, yeah, the sensitivity of small polyp of CTC with the optical colonoscopy. Here is an example with the uh, 2D view and the 3D view of the small polyp. 
So regarding the uh, advantages of the CTC, there is additional benefit of the, for the patient to see extra colonic finding. Uh, in the optical coronoscopy, you are inside the large bowel and you cannot see outside the bowel lumen. So there is an additional benefit to see outside the pathologies outside the lumen and uh, the prevalence of extracolonic findings in the literature was found to 60 to 70 percent of the cases in which there are significant findings we, uh, we can see and further ev evaluation for the significant findings uh, has a rate of 7 to 11 percentage and further workup uh, needed for that uh, particular rate is 6 to 8 percent. So here are some examples of CT colonography on the 2D view here we can see the infra abdominal, uh, infra renal abdominal aortic aneurysm and on the second image you can see there is our additional finding of left renal cell carcinoma along with uh, cholelithiasis. So here is another example in which the patient present with the, uh, with the gastric carcinoma with perigastric infiltration of the tumor. And on the last is the multiple intra-abdominal lymph node with splenomegaly, a case of lymphoma, which was the patient was screened for CT colonography. So in summary, CT is a powerful screening tool for average patient of uh, more than 50 years. It has documented high sensitivity for 10 millimeter polyp or more and is comparable to optical colonoscopy. Uh, the radiation disk is not a true concern and uh, as I mentioned the extra colonic findings are the added benefit of CT colonography and definitely there is an additional responsibility of uh, radiologists if we uh, work in the screening colorectal cancer of the country so there will be an additional responsibility of the radiologists. So thank you very much.